So in this problem, we're asked to produce a JSON representation of the nutrition label on a pack of mini donuts. Before we start, we got to say there's lots of possible correct answers. We're just going to show one that's plausible. Uh, it has to be correct JSON, and it has to be a kind of JSON that makes sense for the problem that we're trying to solve. So we start out by creating an empty structure, uh, and then I notice that there are two primary components here, the nutrition information and the ingredient information. And my first guess is that I'm just going to make each of them an object. So I've got a, a property called nutrition, which is an object, a property called ingredients, which is an object. Then I look again, and I see that these values the, the values that I'm associating with these two properties, um, I might think of them as arrays, just lists of things, right? So nutrition will be an array and ingredients will be an array. And remember that the value associated with a property can either be a value, an object, or an array. But then I notice that the nutrition things have a bunch of sub-information, right? That they are really, um, name, and then amount, and then um, there's actually a, a percentage there as well. So, something, so I, I need something more there. But the ingredients are just, for the most part, names. So maybe, in fact, what I have is that nutrition is an array of an amount, but maybe I want to write the percentage in there, or do I need both of them? So perhaps what I ought to do here is have each of the nutrition items actually be an object itself. So there, there's an object called fat, and that object has two components, namely the number of grams and the percentage of the daily allowance. So maybe I do want these things to be objects and not just elements of an array. So now I try writing something like this. So nutrition will be an object. One of its properties will be fat. And fat itself is an object. And it's got two properties, namely grams and percentage of daily allowance. And then the next component of nutrition is carbs. And carbs has grams and percent. Now I look over there and I see that actually both fat and carbs have kind of subparts, so I'm gonna have to deal with that next. But for now, I'm starting to home in on this uh, objects with objects as, a, as their components. The ingredients can mostly just be a list. But then I notice that the protein powder blend might complicate things because it's got all these things in parentheses. So do I make the protein powder blend an object? And the components of the protein powder blend are, in fact, an array of different protein sources, which is actually how the protein powder is made. And so I write it as protein powder blend as the property, colon, and then an array, whey powder, whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate, milk protein isolate, milk protein concentrate, and then the micellar casein and the egg protein isolate. So 
So that's one approach to those things. And then I just continue with the other things uh, as, as just string elements here. So that, 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 that's an approach I can take. Let's look at what my finished result looked like. Um, so when I played it out, I did it this way. So I said, they've got two top properties, nutrition and ingredients. And I put those out as we just saw. And then I'm going to um, click on the validate button to make sure it's valid JSON. And in fact, before I videoed this, I had to do that about 10 times to get all the little bugs out. And then we look at the two components. There's nutrition, which is a seven component object. And then fat has its subparts and protein has its subparts and, and so on. And most of them just have the two subparts for grams and percentage or milligrams and percentage. And then down for the ingredients, everything is just an element of an array except for element one, which is the object, protein powder blend and so on. Now, which of these I would actually use depends which, which structures I would use, like whether I would do it this way or some other way. Um, is dependent on what it is I'm anticipating doing with the data structure. And my skill in designing this thing um, is going to be reflected in my capacity to build a general purpose, to design a general purpose JSON that's going to be flexible. So that um, even if we change what it is we want to do in the code, the data structure, the JSON that we created, uh, turns out to have flexibility and make it easy to write very clear code using it.